If you wanna take your internet business to the next level or you just wanna free up some time and you wanna stop doing all of the monotonous things in your business, you need to start outsourcing. The best way to outsource is by creating SOPs, Standard Operating Procedures. In this video, I'm gonna show you a free tool called Scribe that makes creating SOPs as easy as clicking the record button on your desktop. Let's jump into my computer and I'll show you an example of one that I created and then I'll show you how to actually do it yourself. I use Surfer SEO, as many of you probably know if you follow my other videos. And what I did was I created this SOP that shows how to use their ad internal links feature. That doesn't necessarily matter. Just know that this is something that I do in my business and I want my VAs or freelancers or whatever to do for me. So I wanted to make it very clear the process and what it looks like. So all I had to do was record myself doing it and then I come in here and I do some minor tweaks and then it gets me this really cool um, SOP that I can share with anybody just by copying that link. Okay, so as you see here, number one, navigate to the website, and it actually gives you the website uh, link right there, which is really cool. I'm gonna make one here in just one second, but let's just go through this one I already built really quick so you can see the end product. Next, it shows them what to do, copy target URL. Click on that, blah, blah, blah. I'll share this example down below in the comments, and you can check it out. Switch the tab. So basically, it's showing screenshots of all of the key points and also all of the keystrokes that I made. If I did Command K, which is to add a link, it's gonna show that, and then Command V, which is to paste, what I imagine right there was a link, and then I click Insert. It, it really is smart at telling what you're doing as you do it, right? So that shows the whole process, and then it shows you the estimated time to actually complete it, which is assuming that there's no like other stuff that goes into it. This one takes much longer because you have to have some context and it doesn't show like the thought process. Okay, but that is what it looks like. Let me show you one. I'm gonna create one showing how I send emails in ConvertKit, something really basic. First, you'll need to install the extension. The free plan works with Google Chrome. The pro plan is $29 and it costs more per user. The free plan, guys, gives you pretty much everything you need. The only thing you're not gonna be able to do is you're not gonna be able to edit screenshots as much and you're not gonna be able to record things on the actual like computer, the analog stuff. So if you were showing someone how to do something in Microsoft Excel, you wouldn't be able to record that. But you can do anything that is online and for most of you internet entrepreneurs, that will be plenty. But to install the extension, just visit scribehow.com, create a free account. I already have mine, obviously, so it's going to show up here. I do have a pro account, but like I said, most of you will not need that. So let's go ahead and just start a new one. And since I have the Chrome extension, it will be up here in the top right. Let's go into my convert kit, which is the one I'm gonna create. I'm gonna show how to send a broadcast and convert kit. One thing that you need to keep in mind is that this tracks literally everything that you do. So you wanna make sure that you're being minimalistic. Don't do things that you don't need to do. If you do need to navigate away, like say you need to go check something on Yahoo or you need to open something to find a password that you don't want in the SOP, make sure that you click pause. It's gonna save you time. Even if you do record a ton of stuff, you can always delete it. It's just gonna take a little more work. Okay, so let's start here. I'm gonna click start recording. It's gonna say capture has started. So now everything that I'm doing is being tracked. So I need to be careful. So I'm gonna come here, I'm gonna click on send, click on broadcast. Again, the part right here doesn't really matter. This is just my specific process for this example. So I'm gonna be very deliberate in what I'm doing. I'm gonna click on new broadcast. I'm gonna enter, enter a subject line, enter a body. So this is gonna be very basic, right? So every keystroke is being counted. So it is a little bit messy. You don't, I don't love that. So I'm gonna come down here, I'm gonna snip it. Let's just do Amazon OA. Okay, and then I will do continue. And then I will send this to All right, enter preview text. I'm not even gonna go back and mess with that. All right, and then click continue. 
and then I would click send broadcast and then I would be done. So I would click the complete recording button. Now it's going to bring me to the actual SOP area where I'm going to be able to edit this. All right, so this is what it looks like before we edit it. We can start by creating a new icon if we want. So I can just make something with an email if they have that. I'll just do the messenger thing there. And then I will make it green. Totally optional. Convert kit workflow, basic broadcast. So you want to name them, obviously keep them descriptive. How to send a simple broadcast and convert kit. No scheduling. All right. And then it's going to show the websites that we're going to use. So it's going to start here, navigate to app convertkit.com backslash dashboard. If you want, you can click that just to test it. And that is good. Okay. And then this first step is correct. Click send, click broadcasts, click new broadcasts. So we're looking good so far. Double click on the subject line field. This is where it's going to get a little bit uh, dicey because see how I said it tracks every single thing. So it's tracking the caps lock. I'll just go ahead and I'll edit this and I will just do type I'll just put type compelling subject line if I want I can add an image but for now I'm just going to keep that basic click add content and now again I'll put here actually I'll just go ahead and delete that one because I have it on the next one so if I want to delete a step, very simple, just right click, I'm sorry, left click on the three dots here and then delete step. And I will just do enter compelling body text, All right? And then I can basically delete this step, I can delete this step here, click on this icon. Click on snippet. Click on snippet. Click add to email. Click continue. Set audience rules click all subscribers click subscribe to select forms and this one I was typing EAM I'll just go ahead and delete that I'll just put click on desired audience form tag segment or other Okay, and I can delete this, add filter, and I can delete this little click here. Some things will just be redundant. You want to keep them as short as possible, right? In our preview text, again here. Okay, and then I didn't send the email, so I'm gonna add one more step. Click send broadcast. Okay, that's it. So now when I click done, I can share that, copy link, I can do shareable with link, and then I can just send that to whoever I'm having do the process. Pretty cool. There's more to it. You will uh, learn a lot as you go, but definitely go check it out. It's a really cool software. It's kind of an alternative to Loom and there's other ones. Again, the paid version is expensive. I pay for it. I think it's worth it for me, but for most of you, the free plan will work. Hopefully you guys enjoy that. You go check it out, scribehow.com. As always, thank you so much for watching. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this and you want more affiliate marketing related videos every week. Also go check out my book, Evergreen Affiliate Marketing on Amazon. It's available in print, Kindle, and Audible.